welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says find the position vector of a point R which divides the line joining point P and Q whose position vectors are 2 vector A plus vector B and vector A minus 3 vector B respectively externally in the ratio 1 is to 2 also show that P is the midpoint of the line segment RQ. Before moving on to the solution, let's discuss the section formula for external division. If suppose we have two points A and B and we are given that the position vector of the point A is vector A and the position vector of the point B is vector B and we have a point P which divides the line joining the points A and B that is P divides AB externally in the ratio m is to n and the position vector of the point P be equal to vector r then we have vector r is equal to m into vector b minus n into vector a upon n minus n. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. We are given two points P and Q and this point R divides the line joining points P and Q externally in the ratio 1 is to 2. We are also given the position vectors of the points P and Q and we are supposed to find the position vector of the point R. So here we have two points P and Q. R is the point which divides the line joining the points P and Q in the ratio 1 is to 2. We have also taken the position vectors of these points P, R and Q that is we have let the position vector of point P be vector P position vector of point Q be vector Q and the position vector of point R be vector R. We are already given the position vectors of the points P and Q. So we have vector P is equal to 2 vector A plus vector B and vector Q is equal to vector A minus 3 vector B. Now from the key idea we have the position vector of the point P which divides the line joining the points AB externally in the ratio m is to n is given by vector R equal to m into vector B minus n into vector A this whole upon m minus n. Now we are given that the point R divides PQ externally in the ratio 1 is to 2 which can be compared with the ratio m is to n where m is 1 and n is 2. So using the key idea we have vector r is equal to m that is 1 into 
the position vector of the point Q which is vector A minus 3 vector B minus N plus 2 into position vector of the point P which is 2 vector A plus vector B and this whole upon N minus N that is 1 minus 2. So this is equal to vector A minus 3 vector B minus 4 vector A minus 2 vector B this whole upon minus 1 or you can say vector R is equal to minus 3 vector A minus 5 vector B this upon minus 1 or you can say this means that vector R is equal to 3 vector A plus 5 vector B. Therefore, we can say that the position vector of the point R is 3 vector A plus 5 vector B. Now after this we have to show that point P is the midpoint of the line segment RQ. That is this point divides the line joining the points R and Q in the same ratio. This is what we have to show. So we say if the point P is the midpoint of RQ then P divides RQ in the ratio 1 is to 1. Now if we have the position vector of a point A as vector A, position vector of a point B as vector B and if the point P divides AB internally in the ratio N is to N and we have position vector of point P as vector R then vector R is equal to M into vector B plus N into vector A this one upon M plus N. So using this result now using this result, we can say that the position vector of the midpoint of RQ would be equal to 1 into position vector of the point Q which is vector Q plus 1 into position vector of the point R which is vector R upon M plus N that is 1 plus 1. We already know vector R and vector Q. So this would be equal to vector A minus 3 vector B plus 3 vector A plus 5 vector B upon 1 plus 1 which is 2. So this is equal to vector A minus 3 vector B plus 3 vector A plus 5 vector B upon 2 Further we get this is equal to 4 vector A plus 2 vector B upon 2 which is equal to 2 vector A plus vector B. Thus the position vector of the midpoint of RQ is 2 vector A plus vector B and we know that 2 vector A plus vector B is the vector P which is the position vector of the point P. 
Thus, we say that this is same as the position vector of the point P or you can say this is same as vector P and therefore we can now say that the point P is the midpoint of the line segment RQ. So, hence proved. So, this completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.